we will remember in our own way the specialness of today in this extremely strange year. We meet in the presence of God for this act of remembrance. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have died in the service of mankind. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Ever loving God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may gather together, live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain 
continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken. Roll of Honour 1914 to 1918. Roger Marshall. Selby F. Marshall. Arthur D. Haslam. George G. Yule. Thomas Douglas. Edward Patterson. William Thompson. Roll of Honour. 1939 to 1945. John Taylor Ellis. Gerald Kenneth Kinnear. George Wordingham Scarf. George Sharrett. Douglas MacDonald Hall. Matthew Robinson Norris. Colin Seymour. Donald to Steele, John Alexander Strawn, Edwin Clarkson. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women that we may help encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom Give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And together we say the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord. And to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us all and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>